Welcome back to a uh, day in the life of the Diesel Doctor. Today's special is carrier bearing. How to know when it's bad. So looking at this one, you could see it's misshapen. You could see it's shifted and it's causing driveline vibrations, which is being felt in the vehicle while he's driving. Now he's complaining about, he notices some bouncing and some noise underneath. And this will definitely cause both of those. Uneven vibrations and a little bit of play. Mostly just a shifted and a warpage. In higher mileage vehicles, you're going to notice a whole lot of cracking going on in that rubber bushing there. If that's the case, and it hasn't shifted, yeah, it still needs to be replaced. First things first, let's get my buddy, Captain save -a Tie up that drive line from both ends. Rear section, well, on both ends of the carrier bearing. That's what you're going to want to do. Because you got to be safe, right? You don't want that thing falling on your head. Worker's comp claim. So in this application, this is an international, but the same goes for Volvo, Kenworth, Freightliner. They're all pretty much the same. Driveline just changes just a little bit, but it's pretty much the same way. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on. So once the driveline's tied up, we can go ahead and unbolt those caps. It takes a 13 millimeter head socket, take those caps off and then we can smack it free. Be careful with those U-joint end caps, because sometimes they will come off and you may lose some needle bearings. If that's the case, you better find them or you're gonna need a new U-joint. I'll go ahead and let you know what it sounds like. That's the sound of the nut coming off. What we want to do right here is we want to make sure it stays in phase, that the yokes are facing the same way front and back. So we go ahead and mark it so we put it on exactly how we took it off. That way we know there's no driveline vibrations caused by what we're doing here. Incorrect phrasing will cause vibrations. So now with a little bit of muscle, 
Just muscle that thing off there. Good thing to do right now is get a face shield on because we're going to do some cutting. You're going to cut through that bearing. You're going to cut through the bearing retainer. Then you're going to cut through the inner race. Once you get all that off, sometimes it may take a little while, but once you get all that off, then we can get the new carrier bearing back installed. This may seem like it's a lot of work. That's because it really is. I mean, I think warranty pays 1.5 hours and you're not making any time on this sucker right here. It is not fun. This one in particular doesn't want to crack open. Usually you can hit it as soon as you cut it and you can crack it and it comes off easy. But this one's going to make us, this one's going to make us fight. That's what's going to happen here. This one's going to piss us off.
Took long enough, huh? A little pain in the ass. So right here, we just place the new carrier bearing over the shaft, over the splines. There's the part number for you, because you know I'm badass like that. So you already know it's not going to slide on easy. So we're going to get a retainer and we're going to put it over that carrier bearing and we're going to smack that retainer and have it push that carrier bearing further back. And like I said, be careful because you don't want to hit those splines. You don't want to smack those splines at all. Any damage to those, we're going to have issues putting on the yoke. Damn, like new again. Looking good, isn't it? All right, line up that yoke. Make sure it's put on right. Little bit of Loctite to make sure that nut doesn't come off. And now, you really get to show off your muscles. Put on some MC Hammer, maybe some 50 Cent, summon your strength, pick that drive line up, and put it into place. So here is a bearing cap kit, also known as a strap kit. You're going to want new ones every time, just in case there are any issues with them stretching out with the old ones. New ones are always best, and they're cheap.
So that's pretty much the gist of it. We're going to bolt those suckers down and it's going to be beautiful again. We're not going to have any other vibration issues from the driveline. While you guys are still watching, I just want to take this time and thank you for always watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now because, you know, I can't do this without you guys. We're trying to grow this channel. We'll make it into something big. Maybe we can get some merch. Maybe throw out some free shirts. Whatever it takes. All right, guys. We're going to finish up this video here. Bolt that carrier bearing back up. Go ahead and take off my buddy. No more safety device needed. And just so you guys can see the old one while it's removed. So this one is not a perfect circle. It is warped. You can see where it's been rubbing. And looking at the back side, you could definitely see where it's been rubbing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Stay hustling.